evening-ish, prime time, five o'clock, six o'clock, something like that. All right, here we go. I don't need to start a timer. This is a tutorial. All right, this, is, this is part nine of my MMX 100% speedrun tutorial. Um, Sting Chameleon stage. Previously we did Launch Octopus. This is the last of our eight Mavericks. And uh, it's a pretty straightforward stage. There's one mini boss, a heart grab, and, and a pretty cool fight at the end. There's a, there's a free version and a cool fa faster version. Um, Sort of a lot of free, full, free, free flowing movement through the swamp. A lot of people like this stage because there's a bunch of different ways you can do it. Most everything dies to like one dash lemon. And, and you can kind of do some cool stuff. So let's dive in here. Right away, uh, you want to come in holding a charge, I suggest, because you want to be able to use a, a blue shot to take out this guy's logs. I start with two dashes. Uh, so that I can make it to this ledge and blast the grasshopper guy and the two logs and clear it cleanly. But uh, you can make it in one dash. It's just like at the very end of your dash, like that. And uh, also, if you're not interested in trying to land in front and take everything out with one shot, you can do like a dash lemon and then just disregard the blocks. It's not much faster, if, if really at all to take out the blocks. You just don't have to worry about brushing up against them, whereas with this strat you can sort of stop your progress by running into them. But I think if you jump cleanly, you can make it over without issue. So it's up to you how you want to handle that. Either way, you'll land right here. Um, you want to shoot a lemon as you dash off. Planty will not be in your way. I mean, he'll be there, he just won't be a problem. You want to dash off here and shoot a lemon to take out this grasshopper so that you can, uh, planty, stop. <laughs> um, yeah, you want to shoot him so you can jump here and jump over this post. Again, when you shoot this guy, it's up to you if you want to, uh, do the same thing for the woodchuck guy or whatever he is, log man. You can start a charge when you do your dash lemon, and then use the full charge to clear those out of your way. Or you can just disregard them and jump over it. Either way, this is going to be a little faster because you don't have as much space, I don't think. I think you're always going to brush brush up against this unless you let go of right. So I recommend the shot to take him out. So start your charge when you kill him. Jump from here, it'll be a blue shot. Something like this. You land here. From here, another dash limit to take out the grasshopper up top. And one wall kick. Get around. Um, from here we gotta go up and we gotta fight old green biker dad. Our buddy. Um, fastest way to get up there is to sort of dash part way down the slope. I don't think you wanna go all the way down. Whoops, 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 whoops. Oh my gosh, my timing is off. Yeah, I can't even get the jump. Nah, I guess anywhere on this slope is probably good. And then you do one kick. And then a double kick. Double dash kick. I guess the double dash kick is, is one regular kick and then a and then a dash kick. B B and R. B B and R. One kick, double kick, and then we'll dash in here. And this is our boy, Green Biker Dad. Now, this guy, I'm not sure exactly what his iframes are, but he's got some. His weakness is Boomerang, and uh, he does a couple things. He can throw his claw at you, he can jump at you. If you're close to the wall and he throws his claw at you, uh, he can grab the wall and pull himself towards the wall. See if I can bait him into it. No. Pull? Yeah, see, he can pull himself towards the wall. Um, his claws deflect shots. Wow, that went right through his claw. Weird. Just... What? You can shoot through his claw when he's trying to grab? I had no fucking idea. What? 
Can I shoot a boomerang through that? I can! Okay, um... I don't know if that changes anything, honestly, but... I'm gonna look at that, I'm gonna look at that later. <laughs> I had no idea. Interesting. But normally his claws block your shots. Tink, 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 tink. Um, you can hit him when you're inside of his claw. You can hit him in the head. And you can hit him in the feet when he's jumping. Um, the problem with this guy being weak to boomerangs is that you need boomerangs for Stink Chameleon himself. As he is also weak to boomerangs. So, in order to deal with that, we shoot 18 boomerangs and 5 dash lemons at Green Biker Dead. He's got, well, what's 18 times 3? 30, 30, fucking 54, 64. He's got 64 health. Um, so 18 boomerangs, 5 dash lemons is exactly 64. So there's a couple ways that you can start it. Uh, you can either just start with the boomerangs and shoot him in the head as he comes down. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, one, two, three, four, and five. Um, or you can start with the lemons instead. And you can hit him with it in his feet as he's falling. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Um, I do the dash lemons because you can hit him a little sooner when he's coming in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's the perfect pattern, except I missed the last shot like an idiot. Um, you can shoot him in the feet as he's coming in. You can hit him a little sooner. Honestly, I don't think it saves any time. Like, you start the fight faster, but you end up waiting anyways if he does any jumps at all. So, uh, do whatever you think is easiest. The cue I use for the lemon to start is when the sixth and last block lands, that's when I do my dash jump. And then I just shoot at the peak of my jump. And it should hit him every time. It's kind of tight. You can, uh, tank shots pretty pretty easily this way. Um, so most people do boomerangs first. Oops, shoot. I'm used to swapping the other way because I'm swapping from lemons to boomerangs. But uh, some ideas when you're fighting this guy you want to hit him as soon as you can but he doesn't have any visible iframe so you just kind of have a have to get a feel for the rhythm you'll know if you don't hit him because he won't flash right like he'll flash and then that one didn't hit him didn't do damage and you really don't want to miss boomerang so that's kind of a big deal because you can't you can't shoot any more than 18 if you miss with a couple, now you gotta do more dash lemons. And every two boomerangs is equal to three dash lemons, so it's gonna be a lot of extra shots if you're missing boomerangs. Um, a couple notes about, I guess, the rhythm here. You can get like three off. One, two, three, four. You can get four off to start the fight before he does an action. But you wanna, when he's gonna do something, you wanna wait and kinda see if he's gonna jump. Cause if he jumps, he's gonna jump and his claw is gonna be right in your way and it's gonna block the boomerang if you were 
being antsy about it. You gotta be a little patient. As soon as you see him pull his hand back, uh, you can go ahead and fire because you know he's gonna be throwing his claw instead of jumping. So, uh, something to look out for. And then once he throws his claw, you can do a couple from the inside and then another one as you jump back over it. So, the idea for me, I guess with boomerangs first, there'd be four shots. One, two, three, four, see what he's doing. Five, six, seven. It's kind of slowing it down, but. Um, one, two, three, four, five, seven, two, three. Now you wait. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, on the first the first the first round you can get four. But uh every subsequent round, like if he's throwing his claw, you can get one as you jump over the claw, two from inside the claw, like this, and then another one as you jump back over the claw, and then two more, and now you, he's going to be doing another action, so you want to wait again very briefly to see if he's going to jump or throw his claw, and if he's throwing his claw again, you just do the same thing. One over the claw, two from inside, and like a, like a six pack. For every claw cycle, you can get about six shots. Um, when he does jump, You can hit him underneath, like that. Um, it's kind of risky. Um, but it's not that hard. So you'll get the You get the shot from underneath, and then I think it's, I'm not sure, I just kind of have a feel for it, but one, two, three, and then he's going to do another action. One, two, three. So that's kind of the idea there. Four to start, one, and then one, two, three, see what he does, one, two, three. It's kind of, I kind of work in groups of three, um, but you want to make sure, like I said, absolutely certain that when you're shooting like that fourth shot, that you, that he's not jumping, because you'll tink, you'll tink the, the stupid boomerang off this stupid claw, and now you're out of boomerang and you're going to lose a bunch of time. Trevi B. Um... So, I don't know, I'm just going to do a couple, you can sort of watch the rhythm. That was almost the perfect pattern. You don't want jumps, like, I mean, obviously there's nothing you can do about it, but when he jumps you're going to lose a little bit of time. If he stands there and just does claws repeatedly, that's the optimal pattern that you, that you want. Not a huge deal either way. Again, the second best pattern. That's a pretty good pattern, but another thing you can do when he jumps, uh, you don't have to shoot him in the feet while he's in the air. Dude, jump. He was about to jump. <laughs> See, I got greedy, but uh, shit, I missed. I missed the point I was trying to make there. Jump at me. Uh, you don't have to shoot him in the feet. Like, as he's flying through the air, you don't have to jump up there and do that. If you're not comfortable with it, and you think you're going to miss, just, uh, I used to do it where I would, come on, jump. 
I would just stay on the ground and shoot one for him to land on as he came back down. Jump, bro! Oh my god. He'll jump every every chance he gets. When uh when I'm doing runs. Uh, no, not a new haircut. I mean, I guess it's fairly new. Don't do this. Like, I'm shooting way too many boomerangs. I just want him to friggin' jump. sort of hit him from underneath like that. I was a little slow so I got off cycle and that's why I hit his claw when he jumped. That's how I used to do it. I'd hit him I mean, I'd hit him as he's like landing. But there's I think it's easier actually to hit him while he's jumping. But it's up to you how you want to do it. I like the lemons first. That's Green Biker Dad. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Um, if you're looking for something fancy to do, you can do a swaggerang when you kill him. Um, it's just kind of silly. But uh, if, you, if your boomerang's going down when you kill him, you can just dash inside of it and it'll orbit you while he explodes. Kind of fun. Um, okay, here comes the capsule. You can do this thing we call the capsule toe. It saves a minimal amount of time, but you can kind of bug X up onto the platform by being in the right position, like so. Um, the way to do that is to just like hold right as the capsule's coming up and then just jump with, with proper timing. It's pretty free. Uh, it doesn't really save much, if anything. But what you want to do is you want to get that and then you want to dash into the capsule. And get your armor upgrade. From here on out, now that we don't have any Mavericks left, we, uh, we take half damage. So <coughs> now we got the, the heart grab. Uh, well, let's just talk about pre-acceleration a little bit. Like we've talked about before, when jumping off a ledge like this, you want to sort of, if you can, you want to build your downward speed before you get to the corner. So you want to do a jump, right, that barely clears the corner. And uh, there's kind of a setup that I use for it. What I'll do is, during the capsule fanfare, I'll hold left, and as soon as X start, I'll just walk all the way to the wall, and I'll walk back to about here. I'm looking at, like, this corner of the rock where X's head and hands are. I want to line my head up with that and then I'll walk back to the left and as soon as I get to the screen I'll do a full height dash jump and the screen lock will lift and I will have a nice clean pre-acceleration 
downward, barely clearing this corner. That's what I do. Not a huge deal. You could just sit here at the at the screen lock wall and just sort of keep pressing dash until it lifts and just dash off the edge. Perfectly acceptable. So this is what I do. I walk, 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 and then do a jump. My timing's off because my safe state was late, but something like that. So, anyways, uh. Oh, after you get out of the capsule, you want to swap back to Boomerang, because it's going to auto-swap you to Buster. And then, uh, you want to drop down here, alongside this. And the heart is over, over yonder. What we want to do, since there's water here and we defeated Octopus, that was the whole purpose of doing Chameleon Last, is to have water here. You want to drop down and you want to find this third block from the bottom. Oop, not that one. The one. <laughs> the one I just broke. And you want to double kick so that you break both the third and fourth blocks. Not four and five, three and four, like so. And then you want to land here. If you're not confident in this grab, you can do it a little lower. Give yourself a little more leeway. You can just leave one block on the bottom or none if you're if you're that scared. But uh, the heart's over here. There's two ways to get it. I mean, obviously you can just you can just dash over here and get it the old-fashioned way. But we're all about speed here at twitch.tv slash walrus prime. So what we want to do is we want to do a double kick. Break. Chameleon third has totally messed this up for me. And this is probably going to mess up chameleon third, but whatever. Um, you want to do a double kick, you want to end up in here. And you want to dash up off of this. And my cue for the boomerang shot is, I guess, you see these black lines in the background? There's one, there's two, there's three, and there's four. On the fourth one, like X's face sort of barely touching it, that's where I want to shoot my boomerang. And it'll come back with the heart. This is pretty critical though, because remember, we're strictly rationed on our boomerang, so you don't want to do this and lose a boomerang because of it. Because now you've got to farm for ammo later, or fight chameleon in an unoptimal way. So, you want to be pretty confident in your ability to get this boomerang grab if you're going for it. Um, you can go a little further to the right if you're nervous. But one key to this grab is that you can't just shoot and turn around, right? You'll outrun the boomerang. You've actually, you've got to shoot, drop, and then turn around. you got to drop a little ways, straight down after you fire the boomerang. And then I do a dash kick off of down here to land here. And then we can use this as our escape pod. So... Dash up to the right, fourth black line, I guess it's five if you count this half one way over here. But, uh, fourth full black line. One, two, three, four here. Boom. And it'll come back with a heart. Or if you're a chicken, just come down here and go across. You can even do something silly like, like that if you wanted. It's not terribly slow. You don't have to worry about losing a boomerang. But the fastest way is going to be like this. Where you don't lose a boomerang. So, um, you also want to start charging when you fire this boomerang. And then we're going to escape out of here. One, two, three wall kicks to this spot. I'm not sure why these are here. Get out of here. Um, so we'll come out, one, two, three, four, we're here. We want to swap to rolling shield somewhere during this process. So that once we're here, we've got a fully charged rolling shield, we can use it to get through these rock guys without having to jump over them. And we can do that twice in this cave. So the first one is right away. And we've got to jump over these rock guys, a couple of them. Then we can do the third one as well with the rolling shield and jump over the last one. Um, key here is to not stop moving. If you are slow at all, 
you, you're probably gonna get hit by the rock guy. Uh, he got quite a bit of leeway, actually. So, <coughs> swap over to your rolling shield. I just, I just dash jump down here, and then I'll land on the platform he's gonna land on and dash off of it. Um, no jump. I'll just land here, and then I'll dash up to this guy. Now, when you're jumping over them, I'm at home, Valves. I'll be there tomorrow. I thought Fatso didn't want to hang out with anybody until tomorrow. <laughs> um, anyway, when we, we're, we're going over these guys, we got to jump straight up. And, and then press right once we have clearance. Clarence, Clarence. Um, otherwise, if you try to go too fast, you're just gonna crash it. No. So um, jump straight up and then press right. Same thing for this guy, and then we'll use the rolling shield on this one. I like to land in front of this guy and uh, I weapon cancel on my way up to this position. And then when I land in front of this guy, I'll shoot a lemon underneath him as I jump over him. And that's to start a charge for taking out this bird. And this is a farming technique I do, which can come into play later in the stage for the boss fight. You can get some extra ammo, and you can do a pretty cool strat on the boss. So you, if you're not interested in the CFO chameleon fight, disregard this farming stuff and just get through here however you want. But if you're interested in it, I came up with my own strats to sort of maximize my potential ammo drop consumption to try to get ammo because you need extra ammo to do the CFO chameleon strat and it's pretty slick one of my favorite strats so um, and then I'll fire I'll, I'll start my charge here and then I'll fire a blueberry and a one lemon at about the same height as this this point of the rock here and it'll hit the bird and take him out and then whatever he has if he's got a drop It'll uh, land on top of you as you're coming through. You want to get up here? Just kind of get through this however you want. There's there's a, a lot of options here. I mean, obviously you want to maximize your dashes and minimize your jumps. But um, and we want to swap to boomerang, and then here we got we got to collect this life. Conveniently, it's it's right along our path. So um, dash kick, dash kick, and then shoot a boomerang as you jump to this wall. And you'll collect the heart, no problem, or the life, no problem. We need that for the revisits coming up to get the Hadouken, and that's that's very that's up next. So uh, once we get here, we want to swap back to Buster. Coming up is the swamp section. If you if you want to be cool, you'll ride the mech. But if you want to be fast, you'll ignore it and jump right over it. Um, again, this is this is just my strategy. This whole swamp section is, is pretty neat because everything dies to like one dash lemon, except for the mech guys. You got to hit them with two. But like, you can do whatever you want through this section. Just don't get stuck in the mud because obviously this is not fast, right? Um, but I'm just going to show you the way I was doing it to farm for ammo to optimize my chances of getting the CFO. So I'll do a full jump off the very corner here. And then when I land, I'll shoot and dash at the same time. And then I'll release that shot. I want a green shot. I don't want a blue shot because the blue shot's too fast. I want the green shot because <coughs> it's a little slower. And, uh,. I'll release it right here, and then I'll jump up here, and that guy will die, and his drop will land on my head as I'm dashing under him to kill this guy. And then I'll do sort of a short hop to collect what he drops, dash and kill this guy. I shoot this guy. I you don't. I usually don't end up getting his drop, which kind of sucks, but I shoot him anyways. And then two lemons for this guy, and then I want to jump over the mech. And 
and then another lemon here, another lemon here, and I'll start a charge when I'm killing this one to kill that guy. He's another guy I don't get his drop from, but he can get in the way sometimes if your movement is off a little bit, so I just I take him out with another green shot. He'll, come, he'll dive right into it. <clears throat> so, again, green shot, lemon, 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 two lemons, more lemons, more lemons. Another lemon. I do a green shot and a lemon as I jump over him. And if I didn't get the ammo I need, I'll take him out as well. But, um, what we're looking for when we're doing this farming is we're looking for either three small ammo drops or one big for one big ammo drop. Like that one. And, uh, and that'll be enough to do the CFO Chameleon if you didn't waste any boomerangs during the CFO fight or trying to get the heart or something like that. So, um, again, I'm just going to keep, I'm going to do it a few times. You can watch what I do and I'll just keep doing it a few times until I get the ammo I need. It's not uncommon to get the ammo you need, but it's not very common. Like, I think more often than not, you don't really get it. But, see, there, there's one. Okay. So now we can do the CFO Chameleon Strat, because we got a big ammo, and everybody's happy. So when doing the CFO, I'll just, when I fire the second shot to kill that mech guy, that's when I start holding my charge, then I just ignore him, and I'll have a pink shot in time for the fight. I guess I should make my state back here, so I can show both. But um, the Chameleon fight can be, let's just do it regular first. Chameleon fight be really, really easy. Like, all you have to do, you can stun lock him. Now remember, we rationed our boomerangs. So, um, we have exactly enough to kill him, with one dash lemon included. And uh, one way, yeah, I guess you could start the fight, is you can come in with a partial charge, and that'll guarantee a first frame boomerang shot. This is not the fastest way to start the fight, even without the CFO strat, but it's a very safe way to start the fight. So the boomerang will come out and hit him, and then you just come over here and you start stun locking him. Walking back and forth, shooting boomerangs each way as you go. I might actually be short boomerangs, this is stupid. I think I am. Let's just find out. Like, like that we won't be. Um, the fastest way to start the fight is actually going to be to climb the wall and shoot him from up close as he jumps to the left. And he's got two different jump heights he can do. But I'll show that. And then you jump across to shoot him. And then you go to your stun lock back and forth. And then your last hit you're going to need to swap to Buster and do a dash lemon off the wall. Yeah, yeah, shoot him in high frames too, that's a good idea. Ah, dude, I don't have enough boomerangs for CFO. I wasted some somewhere. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to get too crazy trying to hit him early with that second shot, because you might just, like Fatso says, just dump a shot into his high frames. But this is a really simple fight. So the cue I'm looking for, when I hit him, his horn will kind of go back like it is now, and that's what I'm looking at. And when it's all the way back, I, I, you're safe to fire another one. And it'll hit him pretty close to when his iframes run out. Um, let's see. So, so if you come in here with a partial charge, the boomerang will hit him right away. You just dash across and go straight into the stun lock back and forth. It's a really easy fight once you get it figured out. So this shot will come out. And you, just do, you just do this. And then once he's only got one hit left, you'll be out of boomerangs and you go to the wall and do a dash lemon. And again, you want to finish in the center of the stage, as always, to minimize the walk after the explosion and before the fanfare. Now, 
for the cool strat, the really cool CFO strat, this is one of my favorite strats and I don't get to do it anymore because the new route doesn't have the buster upgrade here. But uh, call it the CFO chameleon and you come in with a full charge. And even if you're not doing the full CFO, this is the fastest way to hit him to start the fight is with this charge shot. It just knocks him off the wall. And so you could just do that and then go into your regular stun lock procedure. It doesn't save any hits, but uh, it hits him earlier in the fight than either the wall climb or the, the buffered half charge or whatever. But this is the CFO strat. Well, kind of. So you hit him with a second charge. And normally you'll have all the ammo you need. I'm one boomerang, sure. But you'll have enough if you had gotten three small ammos or one big ammo in the swamp and hadn't lost any boomerangs somewhere like I did, apparently. So the idea here is that you, you hit him with the charge shot and then you fire a boomerang and you gotta like bait it around and lure it over him to the other side. And you're using that time of this extra boomerang floating around to build a charge to hit him with a second charge shot. Which eliminates the need for that dash limit at the end because the first one does four and then the second one does four and it saves one hit overall. Now, the, what I'm looking at when I'm doing this is I'm looking at these circles in the background where the, where the sort of mesh meets. There's all these circles, right? So when the first shot comes out, I'll dash to this circle, I'll turn around and fire a boomerang to the left, and it'll come up and it'll hit him. And then I'll dash over to this one, or no, I'll walk. I walk to this one, I fire a boomerang to hit him here, and then I jump and kind of move to the right a little bit. You see this sort of half circle where the leaves cover it up? I want to fire my boomerang just above that so that it curves downwards and I can lure it over this way to him. So, kind of like that. And then you gotta climb the wall so that it hits him just as his iframes run out. And then, uh, and now you're building a charge. <coughs> and your next hit will be your, your pink shot. And he can do two things, he's got two patterns. He can either hang from the ceiling, like so, or you can go up into the corner and do his tail whip, where he whips the spikes at you. Like that. Now, the, the, dangle, the dangle pattern is the easier pattern. Because the thing with the, with the charge shot is that it fires out four projectiles, right? Boom. You can't shoot any boomerangs while those are on screen. Um, well, more than three of them, or more than two of them are on screen. I can't shoot until there's two or fewer, just like boomerangs. I can only have three boomerangs. I can only have two of the charged boomerangs and and one extra boomerang on screen. So if you've got three or more, you can't shoot any boomerangs until they go away. Um, and with the dangle pattern, you can actually hit him with two of them by getting real close, and so you can fire again right away. So you, um, in order to achieve that, I do this this thing where I tap into the wall to sort of slow my descent versus just holding into the wall and sliding down. I'll do like three taps, and then I'll get right in his face and release the shot. And when I release the shot, I turn around immediately and fire upon landing, and it'll hit him as, as his iframes wear out, and then we're, we're into... Our CFO is over and we're into our, just our regular stun lock to finish him out. Um, when he does the dangle pattern, you can't get close enough to get hit him with two shots, so you gotta do something a little different. And the way I decided to compensate, or to, to uh, overcome that problem, You'll have enough boomerangs, so don't disregard this. But, um, but the way I overcome the dangle issue, or not dangling, the uh, 
the tail whip issue when he does the tail whip pattern. Is I just go up. Um, I do the same thing. I tap into the wall and wait to see what he's doing. And if he goes all the way up to the corner to do his tail whip, I get um, on his level and I release it from a little bit further away. One of them will hit him, but then I'm going to this wall and I'm climbing it like as if I was opening the fight. And by the time, since I'm up here, real close, I don't have to wait for the the boomerang to come around to hit him. I can fire it much later and still hit him just as his iframes run out because I'm right next to him. So I can wait for the rest of my charged boomerang particles to dissipate, and I'm right next to him to hit him with the boomerang. I don't shoot it from the ground and wait for it to curve around, you know? And I'll see if I can't get that pattern. It's less common than uh, the easier pattern. Which is good, because it's more frustrating. Because you also have to avoid the spikes that come out of his tail whip. See, that time I hit him with three of them, so I could have fired two boomerangs. But we don't need to do that. the shitty pattern, dude. I was <laughs> Green Biker Dad and Chameleon don't want to cooperate and give me their bad patterns. There it is. So then I'll come up to the wall and do it like that. And normally you'd have another boomerang. Finish him with one more boomerang. So that's what the CFO Chameleon looks like. I think it's a really cool strat, but it's it's kind of difficult, I guess. It's not as hard as it looks, and it looks really cool. And it saves about a second versus the regular fight. So if you're feeling frisky, I'd say go for it. It's personally one of my favorite strats in the game for 100%. Sometimes if you goof it, you can just do you know, abandon ship or whatever. If you release early. Or you can try to set up another one. Oops, I shot early. And then we can set up another one. Let's see. A link to a what clip? Oh, of me failing it? Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> it's really funny though. Also, aren't you streaming, Potato? So. That's the chameleon fight, anyways. It's really simple. It, it's as hard as you want to make it, right? Like, there's some really easy strats, there's some medium strats, and like, then there's this strat, which is super cool. But, uh, yeah, it's up to you. I, re I recommend this strat. Unlock one more shot and he's dead. <laughs> History always repeats itself. So uh, I guess that's it. That's the eight maps done. 
Uh, one more. Good one. I missed this trap really bad. Yeah, eight maps done. Uh, I won't get to the revisits or the Sigma stages until I get back from SGDQ. So on the 10th, I get home, and then whenever I decide to stream after that, we'll finish this uh, tutorial up. Oh, one more thing. One more thing. Hold start during the zero cut scene after your eight maps, and then mash, mash a, uh, a weapon swap, and you might get lucky and see something kind of cool. I didn't get it, but go for it. Trust me. It's not very cool. It's just kind of interesting. So, uh... I guess until I get back, we'll wrap this tutorial up. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Peace.